Hey guys, it's Jay and welcome to our ship tour for the MSC Armonia. We sailed this ship for seven days in February 2020. So we will start on deck six, which is where we entered the ship. If you hang a left from there, you'll find yourself in the Red Bar Piano Bar, which is also called the Rum Bar. You can see there's a sign there welcoming you to the MSC Armonia. And this bar is decked out in all things Bacardi. There was a piano in there and this was a nice little hub for some evening music and entertainment. Moving further aft from there, you have the photo gallery with the display cases for the printed photos that you could purchase. They also had a nice selection of cameras, memory cards, and accessories, and even some drones that you could buy on the ship. At the very back of the ship on the starboard side, you'll find La Pergola Restaurant. That is the flexible time dining room for Aria Spa guests. Uh, it's decently large. It did wrap around the corner to the back of the ship, and you could get some nice views of the ocean out those back windows. Just outside the dining room on the back of Deck 6 is an outdoor seating area we saw used for breakfast and lunch, but I don't think we ever saw anybody sit out there for dinner. But it was a nice place to hang out and watch some salians. And over on the port side is the Surf and Turf restaurant, which is their upcharge steakhouse option. The food was fantastic, and it's a nice option for a little fancy dinner. So now jumping back up to the entry point on Deck 6 and moving forward this time, we have the Armonia Lounge and Library. This is where they had karaoke in the evenings, dance classes, and there was a library section, but the games and books had actually been removed for our sailing for potential health concerns. Sliding a little more forward, we have the Palm Beach Casino, which we got very little footage of because there's no video allowed in the casino. Past that is the MSC Business Center, which is sort of a multimedia conference center where they also hold indoor movies. Sort of a cool option for rainy days or whenever, really. Also in that zone, we have the Virtual Arcade with a few fun games, as well as the Teens Club. Moving further forward, we come to the Cafe San Marco, which is the pay coffee shop. They did have some complimentary pastries and things like that in the mornings, but everything else is an upcharge. Coffee and hot chocolate and all that. There was also a piano there in the cafe for some live entertainment, usually in the evenings. Here's a quick view down from the cafe to the main lobby, but we'll get to that when we hit Deck 5. And at the very front of the ship is the one-level main show lounge, which you can enter from Deck 6 or from Deck 5. It's a pretty small lounge, so I'd say get there early if you want some prime seating. One good thing we noticed is it sort of always seemed to be open, so you could go really early for a show and snag some prime seats. So we will jump down to Deck 5 now as we exit the theater and start to head aft through the White Lion Pub. This was kind of part sports bar, part pub, part live music venue with an acoustic guitarist playing most evenings. In this zone, you will also find the Cigar Room. Nice little place to hang out and smoke all those stogies. Continuing aft, we finally come to the main lobby area, which is home to guest services, shore excursions, the internet cafe, and some shopping areas. And the shopping area does continue around the starboard side past the lobby with some clothing stores, souvenir stores, accessories, fragrances, all sorts of goodness to be had. We've also reached another entertainment venue, which is the Bar del Duomo. This was the evening hotspot for live music, parties with the entertainment staff, and games like Quest. We hung out in here a good bit. The remainder of Deck 5 is consumed by the Marco Polo restaurant, which is the fixed time dining room. We didn't get a ton of footage of the Marco Polo, but you know. So let's jump up to the higher decks now to Deck 11, beginning at the very front of the ship where you will find the Fitness Center and the MSC Aurea Spa. We did a brief tour of the spa to check out some of the features. They've got showers, they've got thermal chairs, steam rooms and saunas and all sorts of stuff up there. Just aft of the gym, you'll find the Baby Club and the Mini Club for younger cruisers. Moving outside to the main pool deck, we've got to check out the Gelateria Italiana, which was an included option on the Armonia, but we've come to understand it might have a cost on other MSC ships. Opposite that, you've got the Vitamin Bar, which is an upcharge option with fresh squeezed juices and things. Let's slide past Il Lido Bar and check out the main pool deck. You'll find a big stage for dance classes, games with the staff, deck parties, and things like that as well as two big pools, which are each split into a six foot deep section and a one foot deep section. And in between the two pools are two whirlpools as well. 
Moving further aft and continuing the water features, you have the Do Re Mi Splash Park, which was under refurbishment during our sailing, but it did open on the last day. Getting into the main food options, we have Il Girasole outside cafeteria, which is a nice al fresco seating option with a bar in the center. You've got burgers and hot dogs on the port side, pizza and pasta on the starboard side, with a good variety of options that change each day, including breakfast pizza in the mornings. The pizza section offered pancakes and waffles as well in the mornings, and I don't think we ever looked to see what the burger side did for breakfast, if anything. Heading to the back of Deck 11, you'll find La Brasserie Buffet Restaurant, which starts on either side and wraps all the way around the back of the ship. They're open for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and sometimes late night snack options. And the cookies are not to be missed. You can also snag the signature brownie stack dessert from the main dining room in here as well. You can also find tons of beverage stations serving up things like coffee in the mornings, with milk and cream, flavored creamers, fruit juice, you can find essence waters at lunch, all sorts of wonderful, wonderful things. Let's hop one deck up to the back of deck 12 now where you can dance the night away at the Starlight Disco. Here's some fun footage from the Glow Party. There's also a public area at the back of each deck on this ship, and we popped out to the one behind the disco for a quick peek. There's not a whole lot more to be seen on deck 12, so here are a few random exterior shots from deck 12 looking down. There was this nifty little observation type deck that we thought could have been an extremely small helipad, but probably not. And a few more shots of the main pool area and stage. Moving up to deck 13 all the way aft again, there's a section called Deck Games on the map, which has a basketball court with football slash soccer goals and shuffleboard. They advertise mini golf as well pretty clearly on the deck plan, but it didn't actually seem to be there. All the way forward on this deck, you'll find the Top 13 Exclusive Solarium, which is a sun deck that you can pay to access. They have sun loungers and little egg-shaped beds for folks looking to soak up some sun. It's only accessible by stairs, but they did offer assistance if needed. And that is it for our ship tour of the MSC Armonia. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did miss any of the actual cruise vlogs, they are over on our channel as well. We did a seven day sailing to the Western Caribbean. But anyway, if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, become a Paromaniac today, socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And until next time, rock on!